everyone, Pastor Kent here. Just wanted to share just a few Thanksgiving thoughts for you. Actually sharing this on Thanksgiving, and maybe you get to watch it today as just a good reminder to be thankful of everything God's given to us and thankful for so many people who have been a blessing in our lives as well. Or maybe you watch it sometime this weekend. But I uh, did want to take just a few minutes, and uh, we've been blessed in our Thanksgiving time. My wife, Miss Jen, made a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. We ate that for lunch, which I'm glad for. Uh, I could go to sleep being as full as I am right now and sleep through the night. I, uh, whew, I'm pretty full. It was delicious. Amazing food. Hope you all are having a great day. Either I've already had some delicious food or about to maybe. And uh, maybe getting to spend some good time with family or friends or just uh, even at your house and enjoy some time together there. And just wanted to share really one verse to jump off and just a few quick things as we go through here. And that's Psalm 107, starting verse 21, and just verse 21 for now. It says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. The Bible there, the psalmist, the psalm writer is saying, Oh, that men, oh, that people would praise God. Oh, that people would be thankful. And I think we could apply that to this week as, oh, that people would be thankful for what God has done today, but that we'd be thankful tomorrow and a week from now and a month from now and a year from now, that every day we would be thankful because being thankful is a powerful thing. It's an amazing thing. It'll change our entire focus if we'll allow it. God wants to do some amazing things. And a lot of that starts by being thankful to Him, realizing He's in control. He's got this. Maybe circumstances are easy and you want to praise God for that. Maybe boys and girls, teens, adults, anyone who's watching, maybe circumstances are pretty rough right now. Maybe you weren't able to see some family or friends for Thanksgiving and you thought you would be able to, but COVID or different things have shut that down and I understand but thankfulness being thankful having a Thanksgiving spirit all the time can take our eyes off of the circumstances and onto God and he's always the same yesterday today and forever and he's always good he's always doing good even in the midst of difficulties well I came across this object lesson online and I thought it was a perfect illustration of what thankfulness can do for us I often use balloons I think a good youth pastor ought to have some balloon games and some balloon illustrations at least from time to time now and then but uh, this maybe is about how you're feeling just bull yeah, boys and girls uh, that are watching have probably seen me use this sort of illustration before where I say, man, an empty balloon, you can't play a game with it, you can't you know, do much of anything with it. But we're going to picture thankfulness really filling this up, and I have a few words that are going to get bigger and bigger. just wrote them on with a Sharpie. You might not even be able to make them out or read them right now, but as thankfulness fills this balloon, as thankfulness fills our lives, these opportunities, these words will get bigger on the balloon, and they'll get bigger in our lives as we're more thankful. So Go ahead and blow it up. That might sound all sorts of awkward on a video of me blowing up a balloon. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, now you might be able to read them a little bit more. But we've got three that we'll talk through just real quick. Joy, peace, and witness, or the opportunity to be a witness and tell other people about Jesus. As thankfulness, or being thankful, having thanksgiving fills our lives joy will start to come out of our lives more and more because joy is really that, that God-given happiness that goes beyond circumstances. And as we're thankful for the good that God has done and is doing, boy, we'll focus more on Him and less on the circumstances. We'll realize that God's going to bring good even out of the circumstances. I love Proverbs 17 too. It says, a merry heart. Joy would be a great example of having a merry heart. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones a broken unjoyful unthankful spirit boy it'd be worse than an un and a deflated uninflated balloon but if we'll have thankfulness it'll do us good like a medicine it'll fill us up we'll have that joy in our lives that'll be full and i wanted to illustrate that I wanted to think of something strong because god's joy is strong it'll carry us through even difficult times and so i thought of duct tape Always good when you get to use duct tape. I uh, was reading recently that they carry uh, duct tape on almost every, maybe even every single space mission, every NASA, NASA mission, because it's so strong and has so many uses. So we're not going to do anything too crazy with this right now. But I'm just going to put a little bit around this balloon just to illustrate that, boy, as we have joy and thankfulness in our lives, we'll have God's strength 
really protecting us. And you could imagine just all of that holding this balloon together. It'd be a lot harder to pop a balloon if it was all wrapped up with duct tape. Now, I won't take enough time to do that right now. Maybe use that as another object lesson in the future with it all wrapped up. But uh, boy, God's thankfulness that he can give us and that we can give to him, thanking him for what he's done, that'll fill us and remind us of God's joy, that we can be happy no matter what. I hope you're having a joyful, happy, awesome Thanksgiving. But even if things are difficult right now, or even if they become difficult tomorrow or next week or next month, some of you students maybe in Rockbridge County just found out a couple days ago that you're not going back to school in a couple of weeks, or even next week, or maybe you already were going a couple days and now you're going to have to stop. I get it. That's hard. I, I'm sad for you that you're not able to do that because of an uptick in coronavirus cases. God's joy can hold us together, just like duct tape could hold a balloon together. God's joy can hold us together and fill our lives as we're allowing thankfulness to really fill this balloon up, to fill our lives up. The next one I thought of was peace. Now, there's a lot of things that thankfulness will do for us, but it'll give us peace. John 14, 27, Jesus saying, peace I leave with you. He's about to leave. He's soon. He's already starting to look ahead to when he's going to die on the cross, rise again, and then go back up to heaven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And there's a lot in that passage. We'll just look at this. The idea that God's peace, the peace that Jesus offers, it's better than anything the world has to offer us. And it will help us. And we can have that peace we take our eyes off of what's happening, off of the circumstances, and be thankful and realize and remember what God's done, that He's in control. We've got His joy, His strength. There's a verse in the Bible that says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And that's a lot of where I was thinking of with this duct tape to begin with. God's peace, God's joy will give us strength. It'll keep us going. I wanted to think of it this way. We've got joy. We've got duct tape holding this together. I think peace even in the midst of difficulty, might be like an umbrella. So now this balloon's doing pretty good. My video's probably looking a little weird with the shadow, but the balloon's doing really good. Where it's got that duct tape, it's got the umbrella. You have to put that off to the side because I only have two hands. But uh, then we also, thankfulness, thanksgiving will give us opportunities to witness, to tell other people about what God's done for us and what he can do for them as well. So let's look at just one more verse. First Chronicles 16 verse 8 says, Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Talk to him in prayer. Make known his deeds among the people. And that's witnessing. That's telling other people about Jesus. Make known his deeds. Tell them what Jesus has done for you, how he saved you if you're a Christian, and how you can forgive other people of all of their sin and give them a home in heaven one day as well. Let's talk about him. Let's be thankful for what he's done and tell some more people about it. So you might have to imagine the umbrella up over top of this, but uh, it's still here. I guess, again, only have two hands. Got joy holding this balloon together. We've got peace like an umbrella shielding it from attack and from rain and anything like that. And then this is a gospel tract. I love this one. This is one we have up in our track rack up by the auditorium, but it actually says thank you. And inside it tells people how they can accept Jesus as their Savior. It talks about our church on the back. But uh, imagine this tied to the balloon. I'll just hold it there for now. But now we've got... Let's see, I think I can even grab the umbrella. Now we've got the duct tape holding it together. The joy of the Lord is our strength and He'll hold us together. We've got peace knowing that no matter what happens, God's with us, He's over us, He's protecting us. And then we've got an opportunity to tell other people about Jesus. But again, if I deflate this balloon, if I take all the air out, it's not going to do very well. And if we take all of the thankfulness out of our lives... And we just go grumpy and say, hey, you should come to my church. Or let me tell you about Jesus. Well, they may laugh at you because you're probably laughing at me right now because I look ridiculous when I'm talking like this. But it's not going to be as effective. You're not going to experience the joy that Jesus has for you if you're going around not being thankful and just complaining about everything all the time. You're not going to feel the peace that Jesus has for you that just inner contentment and peace that God wants for you no matter what's going on around us can have that peace, that umbrella over us of God's peace. But it starts with thankfulness in many ways. Let's take our eyes off of just what our circumstances are. Let's remember what God's done for us. And let's be thankful every day, whether it's Thanksgiving week, Thanksgiving day, or not. Let's pray. 
Father God, you give us so much to be thankful for, but maybe right now it's a tough time, or maybe it will be tomorrow or the next week or next month or next year for many of us. We all go through difficult times, and I pray especially at those times we'll take time to thank you for who you are and what you've done for us, how many good things you've given us, the fact that you are our strength, we can have joy, you are the peace giver, we can have peace even if the world isn't peaceful, even if our circumstances are rough. And you'll protect us just like an umbrella can protect us from rain. And that if we'll be thankful, we can have an opportunity to be thankful for what you've done for us and to tell other people about it, about you as well and about what you have done for us as well. I pray that we will be witnesses and share our faith with others and that they'll come to know you as Savior as well. Thank you for Thanksgiving. Thank you that even our country sees the importance of being thankful. I pray that we as Christians will ultimately be the, even the most thankful people because we have you to be thankful for and we realize that you are our Savior and you have done so much for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you are having a wonderful day and a wonderful week.